can you tell tell us a little bit about what led you into studying biology and particularly focusing on skin and skin rejuvenation? Yes, definitely. Um, I start, I mean, I was always interested in biology and science uh, since I was a kid, but uh, during my PhD, when I start focusing on stem cell biology, um, one of the main um, promises of that field is that we can replicate cells and tissues in the lab, and this can allow us to study diseases and understand better interventions or how we can address some diseases. So skin was one of the first tissues that scientists were able to replicate in the lab. Uh, so there are some companies and some institutions that already working, building uh, skin equivalents for many, many years. And uh, what we are doing today is really optimizing this to the aging and um, reversing aging approach. But basically we started with, a pro with an approach to uh, derive uh, human cells from stem cells to replace animal testing. So as science evolves, we see that using human models is a much better model in terms of um, ability to predict what happens in humans than testing animals, right? Mm. So there are several companies, for example, Organovo that are building organs in, you know, in the lab or um, Cellular Dynamics that were the was the first company to produce uh, human cells derived from iPSs and the uh, uh, embryonic stem cells. So we started uh, back in Brazil in 2014 with this approach of you know, creating human cells to replace um, animal testing. And eventually we got a lot of traction from the cosmetic industry because they were suffering the biggest uh, pressure, pressure to really mm -hmm. ban animal testing. And uh, and then we, did, we started like building human skin in the lab and eventually our approach and we relocated to Silicon Valley in 2016 and eventually our approach evolved to not only replace uh, in animals uh, testing and also on a safety standpoint, but also to validate the effic efficacy of products. So by growing skins and simulating skin aging, we could test, for example, if anti-aging products, if they were really being effective in promoting skin rejuvenation. And that's when we realized that most products that were out there in the market, they were not really addressing the root cause of aging. So at that moment, we realized, okay, there is so much going on on the biology of aging. Uh, the field of cellular senescence was gaining a lot of attention, a lot of researchers going, a, a huge research going on there. And none of them, none of that was being applied to the field of developing products to you know, address skin aging. So we decided to combine um, this knowledge of growing skin and simulating skin aging and developing new strategies that would include the latest advances in longevity and aging biology to reverse or to address skin aging from a molecular and cellular standpoint. Um, and, and then it was interesting because when I started to really dive into aging, I saw how age is connected to so many diseases that we are trying to treat. And in the beginning, I, I always want to address one specific disease. And eventually I saw that by targeting aging, we can make a much bigger impact in terms of not preventing or delaying, but uh, ameliorating the symptoms of several diseases at, at the same time. So we all talk about that, that we are still treating disease as if we were in silos, and then we now needed to have a more integrated approach 
and basically target aging is a more effective way to do that. Okay, so you, you started off creating um, skin cells, is, is that correct? I mean, skin cells for other people to use as, as test substrates. Yes, that's correct. Uh, we started producing skin cells and eventually started building skin tissues in the lab. So we can grow 3D, tissue, 3D skin tissues that we can test products, we can test efficacy, we can test safety. And eventually, we initially we were providing this to other companies, test their products. And eventually we decided to develop our own product. Right. So just one kind of one question. So when you're going for um, like approval from the FDA, do they have any preference for like using skin tissue, which is not really in vivo, right? or animals is it is it easier or but but one is human so you would think it's closer to what the final product would do yeah that's a great point because uh, so fda at least for cosmetics they don't regulate um the the product development they just regulate the product in the market uh so and also you needed to prove safety. So mm -hmm. you needed to run a series of studies to, to make sure that your product won't cause any harm. But I think one of the main, I, I believe that one of the main advantages of our platform is that our product was always develop, developed in hum, testing in human tissues. So this is much closer to the condition that we want to address in, in vivo in humans. And the chance that the, that product will fail from, you know, from the research, from uh, the in vitro data that we have to in vivo, it's much lower because the models are pretty similar. Uh, we are pretty close to the condition that we are treating. So FDA still doesn't require you know, companies that are developing drugs uh, to testing this kind of models. If we have that data to support your data, it's better because it increases um, basically the, the credibility, you know, how robust is, is your data, but it's not required yet. We are seeing a movement where, you know, more and more companies are looking for this kind of models and a lot of companies even starting uh, to offer, you know, these models for testing. Uh, for example, producing cardiomyocytes, cells from the heart, meaning brain, cells from, you know, the brain. Mm -hmm. and, and this really helps speeding up the process of development because you can catch in early stages if your product will have toxicity in human cells. Right. Okay, so then you moved on to create uh, one skin, right? Which is is based in California right now. Yeah, that's correct. That's right. Is so? Can you is one skin primarily a health company or a beauty company? <laughs> yes, uh, we always introduce ourselves, and that's how we see ourselves as a, a longevity company. Uh, we, we started focus on skin and that's our, you know, uh, primary uh, goal. But because we are addressing aging um, and the mechanism that we are addressing, it's a mechanism that is shared in all of our tissues, skin and other organs. Um, we do believe that our approach can go beyond the skin and uh, Everything that we test is we are looking to improve the health and the function of your skin. Um, and then we have this approach that by treating the molecular causes of skin aging, the consequence is that you are going to rejuvenate your tissue from, you know, from the inside out. Uh, your tissue will perform better, will function better, will resemble to a younger tissue. And the consequence is that you're, you're gonna look better. So there is a beauty uh, consequence of addressing aging at the molecular level, but primarily in our essence, we are a longevity company. Okay, excellent. And that's a, a kind of- I hope that you found the video informative. 
please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.